Good evening, everyone. This is Paris. Today is Thursday, October 3rd, 2013, time 627 p.m. This video is on a dream which was given to me in 2012. And the reason why I'm telling you guys and gals about a dream which was given to me in 2012 is because I believe this particular dream might have come to pass. Um, let me show you guys and gals a video I made on this dream, which is posted in this channel called Captain Parrish and this video is entitled Parrish's Dream 10 Kingdoms and Iraq 2012 and I published this video on November 3rd 30th 2012 hello everyone this is Parrish today is Friday November 30th 2012 time 5 23 p.m. This video is on a dream I had yesterday on November 29th, 2012. This dream is quite short, so I'll just get right into it. The first thing I recall about this dream is that I found myself outside. It was quite warm. It may have been spring or summertime or possibly a very warm fall or a very warm winter. After I Notice that it was daytime and quite warm. My eyes focused upon these strange structures that were in front of me. And I looked on top of the structure and I saw a man and a woman. Then I looked upon this. After I looked upon this, I thought to myself, is it possible I may be in Pennsylvania and that I may also be in something called Bears Mountain? There's a facility in Pennsylvania called Bears Mountain. It's like a lot of grass and trees this is a real big public park so after i thought to myself that i may have been in pennsylvania and specifically in bears mountain then a voice told me something about iraq and 10 kingdoms after the voice told me this then my interpretation of where i was changed i kind of said it's possible i may have been in iraq and that these things I saw were ancient buildings that were discovered by archaeologists and that each building represented one particular kingdom and when that kingdom died the next king would come in and build his kingdom upon the previous king and his kingdom and so on and so forth so before I left this dream I must say that it's possible something may be discovered in Iraq and become a tourist attraction some ancient set of buildings and I guess this will be it okay everyone thank you for watching this very short dream and everyone have a nice weekend take care Okay, so now I will show you guys and gals what article I came across on a website called Before It's, it's News. And the article is entitled Ancient City Discovered Buried Beneath a Mound in Iraq. And this article came out on September 30th, 2013. And I'll just read two paragraphs from it. Archaeologists have uncovered Excuse me. Archaeologists have uncovered an ancient city called Idu, hidden beneath a mound in the Kyrgyzstan region of northern Iraq, which is thought to have thrived between 3,300 and 2,900 years ago. The remains of the city, city were found as part of a mound which rises about 10 meters above the surrounding plain upon which a modern day village called Satu Al Clay now sits. The earliest remains date 
back to Neolithic times when farming, farming first appeared in the Middle East and the area was under control of the Assyrian Empire. I do would have been used to administer the surrounding territory. Wow. Look at this. This is unbelievable. And I dreamt it. Um, all I can say, once again, a lot of my dreams are prophetic, of course, visions, and they are coming to pass, in my humble opinion, very quickly. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this video. Everyone have a lovely evening. Take care.